several years ago, and I'm thinking back 2000-ish sort of uh, time frame, uh, a colleague and I ran a full day of presentations. So they weren't the whole day, they were perhaps an uh, hour and a half, and after morning tea, another hour and a half, and they were different presentations. And we were conducting those in two different rooms um, throughout the day. And people just like yourselves had the choice of attending either one. So they'd say, look, uh, I reckon that first presentation, I'll go to that one. And then after morning tea, I might go to Stuart's over there. Before we started this day, um, I actually said, look, everyone uh, just get out a piece of paper. And what I want you to write down on that piece of paper before we start is the details of your worst ever trade. Whew, didn't the bums just shift a little bit in the seats and, oh, geez, a bit squirmish and, and a few moans and groans out of the audience. I said, look, don't put your name on the piece of paper. Just give me the details. So people were obviously quite honest. And I said, look, just tell me, you know, the stock code, uh, the date, price, uh, how much of your capital was allocated to that trade, exit if applicable, and exit price if applicable, because in a few cases it wasn't applicable. And I said, just write all those details down and we forward them through. So um, I actually took those and went away during the break and just went through them. Whew. Some good laughs anyway to be had from some of the information that, and you know, we've all done it. We've all done it, okay? So some of the information that was contained on those sheets. And of course, most of them were you know, still in the trade or stock now delisted, so price unknown, and 80% or 100% of my capital was in that trade, and just some classic, classic worst possible case scenarios. Now, why did I ask for that? What I did was I picked just three typical, three typical trades. Um, just a nice uptrending stock, uh, then it just hit a crest, moved back down again, but then continued to fall, and of course the person still owned them or something like that. What I did is I came back in for a later session. I said, right, everyone break yourself up into three groups. There was about 50 in the room. So they're in three even groups. And I handed them the details of these, pardon me, these three trades. And I even printed out the chart so they could look at the chart and applied some indicators to just uh, spark their interest just a little bit further. And I said, look, I'm going to give each of your group each group here, I'm going to give you about 10, 15 minutes. I'd like you to just look at the details of the trade. Remember, this trade was from someone here in this group, and it may be in that group looking at the chart, and they'll probably be a little bit quiet in the discussion. Um, let's look through the chart, look through the details, and I'd just like you to jot down a few ideas. What I'd like you to do is write down some possible reasons why that person, when they actually had that trade in place, why they didn't exit and close that trade at a more appropriate time. Right, why have they just written it out all that way? Just look at the indicators, perhaps look at the volume, look at the moving average, look at the chart patterns, just come up with some reasons why. So I walked out and 15 minutes of very full discussion and a lot of noise and pointing at charts and someone's drawing over stuff and they're moving each other's hands out of the way. And Anyway, I came back after 15 minutes, I said, terrific, you've obviously got some great ideas, a lot of good discussion, let's get to it. Group one, what was your trade again? X, Y, Z. So I put it up on the on the screen for everybody else to look at. Can you just read out the details of that trade again? They said, oh, I get on, got in here and I'd laser pointer it and they got in that price and they're still in the trade. I said, okay, so everyone now is familiar with that trade. Um, group one, who's your spokesperson? Can you just please stand up and just give everyone else in the room just some of the ideas that you came up with, why this person didn't exit at a more appropriate time. So spokesperson from the first group stands up and says, We actually really didn't come up with anything. So oh, it's, it's strange. I, I heard you talking a lot and you were saying a few, you know, quite a few things and looking at the charts and drawing at the lines. And I even gave you some indicators and volume and, and some moving averages and everything. And so, and I, you know, I guess I went to the rest of the group and said, is that, is that right? Is he um, reflecting your group's discussion? And they said, yeah, we just couldn't come up with anything. So, oh, okay, that's interesting. How about group two? Just quickly, group two and group three. And they're saying, yeah, we just actually struggled to come up with some ideas of why the person didn't exit at a more appropriate time. Someone's real trade, someone sitting in that room in that day. I said, isn't that interesting? We are now looking at this particular trade years later with the benefit of hindsight, no emotion, looking at the chart, just looking at patterns, considering different things, 15 people and their experience coming together to come up with just some reasons why that person didn't exit the trade and a more appropriate time. Yet, we couldn't do it. We couldn't come up with anything. Yet, when that single person who was in the room somewhere 
was faced with that exact same trade, they thought of every excuse under the sun. Every reason in the world not to exit that trade. They came up with everything. <laughs> <laughs>